Good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Cook, and welcome to Captured Live. Captured Live was previously recorded and is presented by Chevrolet. Chevrolet is USA One, and USA One is taking charge. And also presented by Mattel Electronics, creators of the new M Network. Now let's go out and join our host, Ken Calvert. Welcome to tonight's Captured Live. I'm Ken Calvert, and this evening from Boston's Orpheum Theater, we're pleased to present one of England's premier rock and roll bands, The Jam. We've caught up with The Jam here in Boston. They're about to go on stage before a sold-out audience tonight. I'd estimate about 3,500 folks are crammed into this converted vaudeville theater. This place looks like it was built sometime in the mid-20s, with lots of gingerbread around the stage. And on that very stage tonight, we'll be hearing some of the most modern rock and roll that Britain has to offer us. Backstage in the Orpheum is, in reality, upstairs. And we're going to call on Bruce, who's up there with members of the jam just before they walk on stage. So, Bruce, we're ready if you are. How are you guys doing? All right, yeah. A bit tired after the journey up from Trenton, but doing all right. How's the tour been going? Probably it's been good so far. Yeah. How Much far? more successful than uh, previous times over here anyway. You guys obviously spend a lot of time on the road. Uh, Does it show that much, then? <laughs> Not tonight. It's early in the tour. Uh, what kind of pressures does that put on your personal lives? Um, well, not a lot really, because like, we've been doing it for years, so... Uh, I mean, there's some, but not worth mentioning really. So this is home, so to speak, huh? Being on the road? Almost, yeah. Yeah? Almost. Yeah, really. So like Rick said, you know, we've been doing it for quite a while, so we've ironed out any initial problems you might you know, incur with your own private lives. When you go to a country that you might not have been to uh, previously, do you feel like a stranger in that land, or does the acceptance of the fans make make it feel more like a, more like home for you? The whole part about touring for me, anyway, is that the actual gig, and uh, hopefully going down well, and maybe speaking to some people afterwards, and they've got something out of a jam show. You know, but I don't think there's many people that would really enjoy the lifestyle we lead. I think it, it sounds a bit more glamorous than what it actually is, you know. What inspires you to do what you do? We're being creative and actually being at a, in a position to say something. What are some of your general impressions of the United States? I mean, the more times we've been over here, it gets more and more noticeable how, how much different it is in America uh, compared with England. I mean, even though you know we speak the same language and whatever, the, um, the culture is totally different. You don't notice it first. But, uh, and especially like from area to area, like say the New York area, then you know it's obvious to to, to anybody like than the like the Los Angeles area. And, uh, but those about that's about the only thing I think really that stands out. Um, to my ears, the jam has changed somewhat since the beginnings. Uh, you used to be more of a hardcore, straight ahead, almost punk band, and now you've incorporated more melodic. Uh, influences and more textures into your music. Has this been a conscious evolution or is this just the way that you've changed musically naturally? Or? Well, I think it's just the way that we've evolved, you know. So, um, that's, I think that's about it. No, you know, we, there's no like conscious effort of like, this is what we're going to do next, you know, we're going to go for that and go for this or whatever. Um, it's always been fairly natural. Okay guys, uh, I'd like to ask you one last question. Uh, your road manager's hovering, he's hovering over there, yeah. uh, once you get, get going. Uh, what can our audience expect from the jam tonight? I don't know. We we'll have to see how it goes. We, okay. You know, like like us, we don't really expect anything from our audience. If it happens, it happens. Hopefully, it'll be like a 50-50 a communication thing. Because we want to feed off them as much as you know they feed off us. Okay. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you on stage in a couple minutes. Right on. We'll be going backstage, upstairs, right after the show. But now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome. Captured live, the jam. It's time now to go backstage with Bruce again, who's with the jam, but wait a minute, they're not backstage. These guys are down front. They're signing autographs and mingling with the fans. This is not your average rock and roll band, friends. Well, we've managed to call a Bruce Fox into the jam after a great show here at the Orpheum Theater. How you feeling, man? Naked. Naked? Yeah, just burnt out. Yeah? Uh, yeah. We really enjoyed it, though. How do you unwind after a show like that? It seemed like you were pretty pumped up. Uh, I don't know. I have a few beers and uh, 
just go out somewhere. You know, I mean, it varies from the individual guys in the band. That's what I do. Yeah. Okay. Where's the tour go from here? On to Montreal in Canada. Uh, that's the day after tomorrow. And then we've got Toronto. And then we're back into the States again, like Chicago or Detroit, one or the other. I'm not too sure at this moment in time. They all look the same after a while. How long have you been in the States for? Until about the uh, end of the month. All right. End of the month, first of June, and then we we finish off in uh, I think it's uh, Vancouver on about the second of June. Where's it go from there? To Japan. I saw. Is that a good that a good market for you? Well, not so much. Like we don't look at it as markets anyway. I mean, the record company do. You know, they're always looking at the uh, the figures and how many records you sell. But well, we're looking at it as people. I mean, that's like I said earlier on. That's why we're here. We're playing to people that want to see us this time, you know, we're not playing to break the states and we're not playing to break Japan. We're playing to people that are into us. If you could summarise what you'd want an audience to leave a concert by the jam with, what would you want them to leave with? Well, I suppose primarily they enjoyed themselves and also maybe they'd go back and uh, <coughs> think about what our lyrics were saying, you know. I mean, I think you get lyric sheets over here you definitely do in England you might not be able to understand all the, lyric, the lyrics at a concert but uh, if you go home and read the lyrics and maybe uh, you can adjust your personal your individual lifestyle just just to be a bit more aware you know not just to come out of a gig and say uh, well that was a great show or that was pretty average you know who's on tomorrow night we want it to be more than that we don't want to uh, just entertain people so it's like a, qu it's a combination of feeling good and also, hopefully, making people think a bit. What, what do you want to do uh, with your music that you haven't done yet? Well, our music we ain't done yet, I don't know, it's, it's difficult. I mean, uh, like we were saying earlier on, play, <coughs> excuse me, play a lot more countries that we haven't managed to go to yet. I mean, it'd be quite exciting to play Russia, but the likelihood of that happening, I don't know, it takes years to you know, get clearance to go there. And by that time, we, we might have split up or something, yeah. I know, just to play as many places as people want us to go, and uh, and we want to go there, you know. What are the ultimate plans of this band? That's are there any? Well, that's something we can't tell, because the jam live, not exactly day to day, but they live, like, from six months to six months, you know. As long as we feel like we've got something to offer and something to say, in our music, then we'll be, you know, we'll be touring. But we're not going to. Hopefully, we'll recognise the uh, the point in time when we haven't got anything worthwhile to say anymore. And then when that period, when that happens, we're finished, you know, because we don't want to be a band that is uh, around in 20 years' time playing our old hits, because that's not what we're about. You know, we're about now and 1982 and uh, relevant songs now. I think you'll be around for a long time. Thanks a lot. It was a great show, man. Well, thanks. We enjoyed Boston, yeah. Thanks, guys, for again taking time out to chat with us about tonight's show. As the audience filed out after the show, we caught some of their enthusiasm for the jam. They're just so together. It's just fantastic. I mean, you know, some groups, some groups are really bad in concert, but the jam, they just put it together and it's fantastic. They can move. They can move. They can dance. The bass player, I don't know what his name is, but he's just simply outrageous. They were hot. Just a tight band. They're the best band in England, I think, right now. The horns are wonderful. Oh, what a nice addition. Lots of songs, lots of dancing. And their new stuff is spectacular. A lot of energy. They're obviously Motown influenced by the sound, so uh, it was a very good show. On a scale of 1 through 10, I would give it an 8.65. Oh. Not only the energy that they put in it, but you can tell that they give a damn and they're really putting out. And I think that reflects in the way the crowd likes them. I liked song selection. A lot of new stuff. I thought it was awesome. Best show I've ever yeah. seen. It was just his pounding and drive music never let up. They gave 100%. I was moving. Look at me. I'm sweating. Jeez. I moved right out in the aisle and started jumping up and down and going wild. <laughs> they were just wild. I mean, they were so dynamic, you know? They're my favorite band. It's the first time I've seen them. They were dynamite. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's performance by The Jam. I'm Ken Calvert, and Captured Live was produced on location in Boston, Mass. Some other production material was recorded at other locations and incorporated in the show to give you the feeling that you were there with us when the jam was captured live.
Captured Live is produced by Real Time Productions and RKO Radio Shows. Copyright 1982. For all of us, good night and keep rocking.